So I was just out here at night looking for frogs, uh, and I figured I might as well make a video out of it, because I haven't uploaded in a while, and I need some content. So I just caught this uh, spring peeper, or Sudacris uh, crucifer. I caught it by its call, so I'll try to uh, film some more frogs for you guys. So right now I'm next to this big ditch kind of thing. I hear a lot of spring peepers calling, I'm sure you can too. But it can be hard to find out exactly where they are, especially because uh, the banks are so close to each other, so it's hard to tell which side they're on, even if you do have a general idea of the area. Okay, so it sounds like there are a few in that kind of general area. I'm gonna get a little closer to that. You would think it's good to look in areas with lots of frogs, but it can actually be kind of overwhelming and make it harder to find them. Okay, there are definitely a few this way. All right, I think there's some really close. It's just hard to tell when there's so many. Okay. There's one right in front of me. I hear it. Once you find out the general area, it's also hard to just see them because they have such good camouflage and they're so small. I just stop. Oh, I see it. Yeah. These are probably the most common frog in my area, at least around this time of year, but I love them. It's amazing how loud their calls are for their size. I mean, it's really loud. I don't know if you can accurately hear how loud it is, but it's crazy. I feel like I can hear other kinds of frogs like lithobotus frogs in the water, but they're a lot harder to find, even though they're bigger, because they're more skittish. And although the spring peeper, peepers will sometimes jump in the water when you get near them, the lithobotus will do it much more readily, and they're also better swimmers, so they're even harder to find. And they have quieter calls, so it can be harder to locate them. But if I can see one, I should be able to show you. I'm not very good at identifying frogs, admittedly. Okay. So I hear a lithobotus frog farther down. I'm not quite sure what it is. I can find out in post and maybe do a voiceover. I do have a website with all of the frogs and their calls in my state, so that's been pretty useful to me. I actually hear another spring peeper, like right here. good thing about them is that you can actually find them through eye shine sometimes. All those peepers seem to just stop calling at once and I feel really alone. That's a lithobotus. I don't know if you guys just heard that. Focus on the low light. But I just heard some kind of lithobotus call. Not sure what it was. It's kind of squeaky. I'm sure this is not- Oh, I just heard something hop in. That was probably the frog I was looking for. Oh, this is frustrating. I might just walk further down. And see what I hear. So I see a really big one. Oh, on the other side right now. And I'm right next to 
little land bridge type thing. So I'm actually just gonna walk around and try to film it. But I'm gonna be quiet. Okay, I see it. It's really, it's really close to me. I can, yeah, you can just see its back right there. A lot bigger than this might be. Now it might just be hoping that I don't see it. I'm not quite sure what it's doing. do that if you walk by them. That came out of nowhere. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, now, I think me and my spring peeper are out of here. My name is Aspen Entomology, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully soon. Thank you for watching.